Well, the Creighton Blue Jays end up getting it done. I'm joined by head coach Kirsten Bernthal Booth after the Blue Jays' 3-1 to win over Xavier. And coach, you said that you did have control in that first set, but you did lose that. What did you tell the team after that? Well, I thought we played a good game. We just gave up a big run. And so that's what we talked about is that, you know, a lot of good things, but we can't get stuck in a rotation. And and we kind of did that throughout the entire match. We let Xavier have some runs. And I think they caused a lot of that with a lot of different things, especially from a serving standpoint. But, um, you know, I, I think we focused on the positives of the game. You know, this is a team that understands sometimes you lose a game and you got to be able to bounce back. And I think we saw maturity in the fact that we bounced back in game two. And just how important is that experience with this group? Well, I think this is where we've grown from last year. You know, we have virtually the same team this year as we did last right. year. We added some players, um, so some new faces on the court. But I think I think we're more resilient. I mean, the word that I use a lot to describe this team is resilient. And I think that they um, can weather storms. And I think we saw that tonight in a lot of different scenarios. That they're confident that okay, if a team if we give up five points, it doesn't mean the end of the match. We can we can rally and and uh, and still be successful. And I think you saw that tonight. And you've won 18 of 20. You look at this group as a whole and uh, only eight losses. You talk about the experience of this group, but at the same time, Coach, there's a certain versatility about this group that in any set, anybody can take it over and really deliver. You've got quite a group that has, at any given moment, somebody who can break out. Yeah, and I think that's that's why we've been successful is that we've got a, a variety of different players that can step up. You know, I think, you know, Kelly didn't get as many sets tonight as she sometimes gets because Xavier's game plan was to shut her down. And so, you know, if a team does that, then we have other places to distribute. If a team decides to give Kelly up, sometimes we play teams that single block her, well, we're going to pump the ball to her. So I think that's hopefully what makes us tough to defend. Um, I thought Xavier's game plan was really smart against us. They went at us really aggressively and tried to take us out of system. And, and you know, they had a lot of success in doing that. At this point, when you've seen each one of these teams twice already, this weekend, you've said that this is on the players. And how true is that, really? Well, I think we're familiar with each team. So in the sense of they, they're they comfortable, we're going to watch a little bit. of. I mean, the coaches will stay and watch, obviously, the entire match. But the players will watch some of this match. I feel like they know the teams. It's about execution. So, um, you know, that's what we'll do. And, I, you know, they'll be up. They'll play hard. Both teams will. I mean, re regardless of whether we play Seton Hall or Marquette, it's it's three great teams that are left. And, and Xavier was a great team. Any of these four teams came in knowing they could win the tournament. And, you know, it'll be, it'll be a battle regardless of who we're playing. How much fun is this stage for you? You know, this is what you work hard for in January, and this is the 6 a.m.s that they're up for, yeah. and they're doing all this yeah. stuff. And, you know, this the whole season's fun. This is a really special group. Um, they have such great culture and team chemistry. And, you know, uh, as coaches, you want good kids to have a great ending. So, you know, I, I, I want them to play well. Regardless of the outcome, I want them to feel good about how they play tomorrow and then obviously into the NCAA tournament. But I, I think we have some... I think we have some potential to, to do some great things, and hopefully that'll happen. And they did some great things today, and they did some resilient things today. That's what kind of program this great one is, led by Kirsten Bernthal Booth. And, Coach, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. And for the Big East Digital Network, I'm John Fanta, signing off from Milwaukee.